Hey, we're Mads and Dan, and we're travelling around Australia in our self-converted van, Rio. After driving south from tropical North Queensland, we stop off first at Bowen. Then we head to Ellie Beach to sail around for Sundays, an archipelago of 74 tropical islands. We went to some of the most beautiful white sand beaches and snorkeling spots that we have ever been to. This was definitely one off the bucket list. We just had our first ocean swim in since we were and well, while we dipped briefly at, Ma at Mission Beach, but it's the first like safe crop free swim since Magnetic Island, so pretty stoked. We just sat where are we horseshoe bay. just leaving Bowen now. We spent about two days here, one night. Um, it's really nice, like the beaches, there's so many beaches and you can kind of get areas all to yourself because there's just so many places to park and heaps of beaches so nowhere really except for Horseshoe Bay was pretty crowded and Rose Bay as well but there's still places you can find. We're so excited to be exploring the Wit Sundays. We're now going to Cross Pine. Um, I'm going to stay at Cross Pine Lake. Then on Friday, we'll be headed to Early Beach and we're going to explore the Wit Sundays. We um, booked a sailing cruise yesterday with On Sail. They have a sail on it. <laughs> Um, so we got a good bargain and yeah we've seen other people have been on it and really enjoyed it so we're hoping it will be good and we'll get to see some cool like wildlife from the snorkeling and everything. We've just arrived at Lake Proserpine. Um, it used to be a free camp until like two weeks ago and now it's eight dollars a person but there's so much space and it's perfect and um, it's very pretty very like you can smell the pine we've decided to camp a bit away from the lake so we get a bit more um space but yeah it's so nice
have just finished packing up our stuff to bring on the uh, Whit Sunday sailing cruise we're doing this weekend. We're doing a two day, two night cruise with our sail. We're so excited, like, yeah, I'm really excited. It's just like it's such a beautiful area and it'll be so cool to go around all the islands. Um, we haven't left Rio in a really long time, so it's like very strange we'll have two nights without him, but he'll be safe in the car park. We've just been dropped off the little boat and we're gonna head over, uh, slowly swim back towards the boat and yeah, see what we can see. snorkel spot was South Stonehaven Bay on Hook Island. Due to the cloudy and windy weather, the visibility wasn't the best, but it was amazing to see the spectacular reef. We then motored around to the Makona Inlet for the night, where we shared some drinks with friends, watched for sunset, and tried not to fall overboard to the tens of bull sharks splashing below. is iconic. The swirling fusion of white silica sand and blue ocean is breathtakingly beautiful, with the tide creating a unique and ever-changing scene. Whitehaven Beach is famous for having some of the whitest sand in the world. It is made of 98.9% pure silica.
Aberdeen, it probably beats Jarvis Bay and probably Lewis Water. Way warmer, sunnier, huge fish because not quite as like painful and stuff, but oh. fish are epic. <laughs> spot is Hook Island's Manta Ray Bay. Here we saw some of the most incredible fish we have ever seen. We saw a reef shark, a giant humphead Maori wrasse, who the locals call George, and heaps of batfish, rainbow fish, giant trevally and more. It is amazing to see how sea life can thrive when it is protected. This was one of the highlights for sure. I got a bit freaked out by the deep dark drop off from the reef so after 10 or so minutes went back to the boat. The Dan stayed in the water for ages floating around and exploring the reef. <laughs> Titanic moment, could we? 
The Avatar was anchored at Stonehaven Bay for our final night. We couldn't quite believe that the trip was already over, but we had the best time. Another brew. So we just had the best time on a two day charter with Ozsail on the Avatar. We uh, left from Early Beach and went around the Whitsunday Islands. It was so 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 much fun we were able to go snorkeling in three different spots lots of really cool fish and good reef we saw some huge fish and actually a reef shark as well which swam away from us once we got in the water a massive blue maori and like other cool fish that was a highlight for me for sure also provide all the snorkel gear the stinger suits which you have to wear because um even though it's not jellyfish season at the moment which is november to may um there's just a like slight possibility that there's stingers out there. We saw whales almost immediately, turtles, um, sharks, dolphins. It was really, really awesome. On the first night where we stopped, there was tons of bull sharks and one of the hosts, Alex, um, got his torch out and just showed us how they were literally everywhere. And the staff there were awesome. Alex and Fraser, just really nice guys. and. The sale itself was just epic. We had such a good group, they feed you really well. They cater to vegetarians and any type of um, like dietary requirements you might have. There were only 13 in our group. Um, there can be 26. The bedroom situation is a bit small when Dan's 6'4", um, because we were in like these little pods, uh, which actually used to be fish tanks or something. Yeah, they built the avatar as a fishing boat but they wanted to set the trimarang speed record in it so when they delivered it from new zealand to australia they set the record of at the time reaching 24 knots which was pretty fast yeah but so, so then when it was used as a fishing boat our pods which we slept in they filled with water to keep the fish alive to deliver to the docks. Going to Whitehaven Beach was just amazing. Got mm. the sand being so white. One of the most beautiful places I think I've ever seen. Yeah, it was just such a such a great time, and they've they're on discount at the moment, so it's not expensive to do the trip either. So it, yeah, it, it it's was. good value. And then it's really nice after the um, charter. Everyone can go if they want to for a drink and dinner at a pub where you get some discount and so you can all regroup so that was really nice we did that last night and now we are leaving the Sundays region we are headed south over the next few days um to Mackay and then Yapoon super excited to see some more Queensland we had a good time in Bowen and the Sundays region Ellie Beach was awesome could probably stay there for ages but <laughs> we need to go <laughs> We would like to acknowledge and pay our respects to the traditional owners of the lands on which this video was filmed, the Nagaro, Gaia and Juru people, and extend that respect to other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander cultures.